What is going on guys? We are back in the desert with my 240, now on E85, so I'm super excited and I can't wait to see how she does. If you guys haven't seen the dyno video, then definitely go check that out, but we made a little bit over 400 wheel with my RB20. So I'm out here for the whole day and I wanna just get a bunch of shots. We got the drone, we got GoPro. I got a new 360 camera that I used in the dyno video. I'm still still getting used to that camera, so the footage may or may not come out good. We'll see. If you guys are new, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. But let's take a look at the motor real quick. So here she is. She's uh, permanently dirty because I'm too lazy to clean the engine bay. But we've got an RB20 with a precision turbo, shoving 23 pounds of boost into this poor stock motor. And we're now on ED5, which is a lot safer, so I feel more confident about this. But I think that we're ready. One thing I want to do is I want to go to that rock right there. So let's go do that. Definitely way rockier. It got very, very rocky. And I didn't get past like 12 miles an hour to get up here. But anyways, enough of this. It's kind of boring. Let's drive the 240. I want to hear that RB just screaming.
this thing is insane. Oh my god. The car looks badass. She's very, very rowdy. As soon as we get it to boost, traction is out the door. The day's not over yet, but I'm having so much fun. So good, so good. So I think I'm pretty much done for today. On the last ride, I think my shifter broke. Not in like a major way, but look, this is neutral. Look at all this play. So one of the things I did while the car was down while we did the turbo manifold, I got the GK Tech stiffer springs for the shifter, as well as I put the solid shifter bushing too. So it's got the brass rather than the OEM plastic one. And I think the little plastic ring that the shifter sits in cracked. And I think that's what that is. So I'm going to take that boot off and we're going to see if we can figure it out. If you look at this, look at all that play. That's before it even pushes the springs. This section here is broken. So I think this whole plate got broken and it's actually letting trans fluid come out. You can see a little puddle down here. So safe to say that was our last run. I'm not gonna risk damaging the trans. I'm not gonna risk completely destroying the shifter and potentially the trans because it still goes into all the gears and there's no grinding or anything going into gear. Everything's good there. So I just need to replace that shifter. Thankfully, I have a spare trans I can take the shifter from. Although I might just buy a short shifter because I really need one. Well boys, looks like this is gonna be the end for the off-road 240 for this video. I am so, so thankful that if something had to break, the little like ring that's above where the snap ring goes that locks it in, that broke. Like I said, I think I'm just gonna get a short shifter. I'll shop around. If you guys have an RB20 and you got a short shifter on it, let me know what you guys have and how you like it. Just comment down below. So I'm gonna load her up, get her on the trailer, and then we are out of here. Alright guys, well that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Off-Road 240 content, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.